Welcome London, welcome America. Harry drops bombshell on Meghan. Prince Harry says he wouldn't have married Meghan if Diana was alive. A former Buckingham Palace press secretary who worked with Princess Diana feels a little doubtful on whether Prince Harry would have hitched Meghan Markle had his mom been alive. Addressing GB News on Friday, Dickie Arbiter, press secretary to Queen Elizabeth II from 1988 to 2000, told the show has, I will stick my neck around here, and I question Harry would have hitched Meghan on the grounds that Harry could not have possibly been in the state he was in because of his mom's demise. He would have taken something else entirely, and he would in any case be here working on the side of the Queen. The previous royal residence associate was provoked to offer such an expression in the wake of examining the sovereign's fight in court with the UK workspace over security. A high court judge decided on Friday that the ruler had a doubtful body of evidence against the public authority and that a legal survey could occur. This was a success for the sovereign in his question which, he contends, passed on Britain a perilous spot for him to bring his loved ones. Moderator Anne Diamond suggested the conversation starter to Arbiter, you can't resist the urge to figure, what might Princess Diana consider this? I can't help thinking about what she would prompt her most youthful child? He answered, in the event that Princess Diana was alive today we wouldn't be going through this. She had her head screwed on the correct way. She was exceptionally reasonable, and she was entirely reasonable. Arbiter was likewise approached to remark on the new news that the BBC had consented to pay harms to a previous regal caretaker utilized by Prince Charles during the 1990s what its identity was, claimed, was the casualty of bogus and unwarranted charges that were made up to logical impact Diana into giving her renowned 1995 Panorama interview. Bogus cases circled at the hour of the meeting that Tiggy Pettifer, Neil Eggyborg, had been having an illicit relationship with Charles and had cut short a youngster. An assertion read out in court on Thursday said to a limited extent, it is possible that these misleading and noxious charges emerged thus, and with regards to BBC Panorama's endeavors to obtain a selective meeting with Diana, Princess of Wales. The company then, at that point, put out an expression of remorse expressing, the BBC has consented to pay significant harms to Mrs. Pettifer and I might want to make a move to apologize freely to her, to the Prince of Wales, and to the Dukes of Cambridge and Sussex, for the manner by which Princess Diana was bambazzled and the resulting influence on for their entire lives. The BBC said it had chosen at no point ever to show the Panorama interview in the future and, nor would it permit it an entire or part to different telecaster.